When me tell him, say me no eat no fish, no, no meat now. I when me eat them, I wonder when me yam. When me tell him, say that I'm a vegan man. So this is seaside, and today I will walk over to Brumendal from Hamar with a friend of mine. I actually had him requested on my Hi. channel. Get okay, get okay. So uh, tell tell them who you are. My name is Jose Augusto, and I come from Dominican Republic. Yeah, and this is yeah. uh, the, the last week or something that you were well, here? Well, I have three weeks left in Norway. I'm an exchange student here, and what's up? And I'm actually going to tell him what, uh, well, not tell him, I will show him what Norwegian nature is. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> this used to be a youth club back in the days. Well, actually, this used to be the youth club, but I, uh, they uh, took it down. And now this looks even more amazing. What do you think, Jose? <laughs> well, yeah, it's cool. Cool. Do you have something like this in the Dominican Republic? Well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, well. Or I, I imagine just all streets being like this. Huh? I imagine all streets. Being... not, man. What the fuck, man? <laughs> People may remember this from another video I made way back. I swam from there and over there in that uh, cancer medicine video. It's actually in Japanese style. That's that's quite funny. Look over there. Wow, so funny. Here we're walking and oh, there is a problem up ahead. Oh, did you see the problem? Oh, that definitely. Okay, so. <laughs> We're gonna have to walk around, right? Yeah, we have to walk around this garbage. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Over there. Oh, that thing. Yeah, that's yeah, that's true. That, 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 that thing too, though. If you like skateboard, Koigen is the place for you. What do you see over there? That is the most expensive thing Harman has built ever. It cost 30 million kroners. First time entering something wooden, wouldn't we? <laughs> They're actually trying to create a labyrinth here, but I've never ever seen them being uh, like a total labyrinth before. It doesn't grow, <laughs> grow good enough. So, uh, Jose. You want to check the light of this toilet? Nah, not really, but okay, let's see this. Let's see what how, how this toilet really looks like. Wrong door, wrong door. That's what she said. Fuck it. Yeah. All cops are bastards. Now do you know why there are blue, blue lights? No idea. No, because people because want... Because we're in Norway? No. Why? You have all these narcotics all around. Oh, that makes sense. That's yeah. ultra uh, ultraviolet lights. Yeah, and then you can't uh, you can't see your veins. That's why. Holy shit. This is actually a herbal garden. This is a very special place. Like the Swedes used to attack here back in the days, and this is one of a very few buildings that has been preserved in this country because most of things are just broken down. So yeah, traditional Norwegian church. Very few of them. I mean like very few ruins left. Yeah. So uh, does this look like any of the churches you have back home? No. This is how the church used to look like. So now Jose, does it look like the churches back home now? A little bit more, yeah. <laughs> okay. But, well. Yeah. Ours are a little bit different, it's just, I think it's the art style, the architecture or something.
the reconstruction of this place has actually become quite amazing. So this is a train museum. Have you been here before? Uh, one time with my whole family, but uh, not really inside. Well, what's inside? A... They told me there was some kind of restaurant. Or... Oh, it's a cafe yeah, inside. Cafeteria? Yeah, a cafeteria. Uh Within this small wood here, there are some buildings that are up here. And the use for these buildings? Nothing. They're just there to look nice. So... <laughs> are you kidding me? No, they are actually there just to look nice. Oh my god, no way. Yeah, no they are. Way. Oh my god, why Norway? Why? You're so oh, so goddamn rich. I don't I don't <laughs> get this. I, I know I know, but it's, it, it doesn't make sense. They may use it to keep something inside of them, but mainly them put they put them up just to look nice along the road. There's a secret inside here. Yeah. Could be a secret. So people will spend money on this and instead that of uh, hospitals uh, and everything that's so popular. Yeah, you can even look inside and I think you will find nothing. I guess. Let's see. Well, yeah, there are actually possible to sleep over here or something like that. <laughs> but it's mainly just in here to look nice. Even more of it. Useless buildings. So, would you have useless buildings in your country? E except for the government buildings. <laughs> that's, that's actually a really useless building. Yeah, we have actually useless buildings too that people are not using, but... Um, I mean... That's everywhere, I, I, I guess it's... Yeah. Oh, Jose, look, 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 Jose. look, 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 look. Uh, no. Oh, that looks cool, it's uh... Yeah. Yeah, the... Oh my god. I've been walking here once, I came uh, running with my whole set. Huh? Yeah, it was, it was really cool, like... <laughs> I was exhausted, we, wa we walked, well, we ran for like about 8 kilometers. Yeah. Yeah. And this is actually the place where people like to play all the time. Like, they have different games. You know, you have Yoyogi Park in Japan. This is uh, the equivalent of, uh, of Yoyogi Park in, uh, in Tokyo. This is Yoyogi Park in uh, Hamar. <laughs> and this, this is the distance between us. So uh, we're going over there, actually. In the Otostar video I talked about the cleaning of um, your sign. This is one of the stations they have. And uh, Jose, I have a question for you. What? Okay. Uh, so I tried to take this perspective of the uh, difference between uh, Norway and other places because I want to show what Norway is like. Okay. How is the air? How is the air? Dry. <laughs> this is actually the forest that separates Hamar from Ringsakir. So we are actually now approaching Ringsakir. Finally. Yeah, finally Ringsakir. Damn it. There are actually quite a few bikers along this road. Uh, I can only see two in front of us, but I have been passed by many bikers. And uh, I know why, because this path is actually very good to walk on. Uh, and I just imagine like biking this way would be amazing. There used to be a factory here. Uh, they took it all down, so it's actually not here anymore. Uh, some of it is left, but uh, the place where you actually could be inside is now gone. So there we have Jose sitting up there and we are soon going around here and we're getting very close to our barbecue. Do you like barbecue? Yeah man. 